The adorable Westipu is half West Highland White Terrier and half Poodle. Depending on the size of Poodle that is combined with the Westie you could get a range of sizes, but they are normally mixed with the miniature Poodle. Westipus are bred with the hopes of producing a friendly, intelligent, and sociable dog. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Exclamation mark. The Westipu, a West Highland Terrier Poodle Mix. No one knows for sure where or how the Westipu was first bred, though it's suspected to have originated in the US in the 70s. Again, we aren't sure where the Poodle originated, but we do know that the French bred its different types. Historically, Poodles were used by duck hunters, hence its athletic body type. More recently, Poodles have been used as guide dogs, pets, and are known to be used in dog show competitions. Poodles are very elegant dogs, often seeming dignified and peculiar. Another fact you should know about the Poodle is that they are one of the smartest dog breeds. Their intelligence and obedience makes them the perfect pet for families with kids. The standard poodle was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1887. The West Highland White Terrier, or Westie, is a beautiful smaller dog. But don't let their cuteness fool you. Westies were initially bred to hunt rats and other rodents in the 1700s, meaning they are quite strong. While their coat looks like it would be soft, it's actually tough. Because he is a terrier, he's known to enjoy chasing other animals in the home. But he is very intelligent and can be easily trained to coexist with other dogs or different animals. With that said, they are great family dogs. The Kennel Club of England recognized the West Highland White Terrier in 1906. Westipu Size Westipu adults typically weigh between 20 and 30 pounds, with the variation depending on the parents. Toy Westipus are naturally on the lower end of this scale. As for its height, your average Westipu will be between 11 and 17 inches tall. Because they are a mix between a medium and a small size dog, the size does vary. You may end up with a small Westipu, weighing 20 pounds, or a medium sized Westipu weighing 30 pounds. Their appearance is popular as they look like teddy bears. Defining characteristics of the Westipu. Westies and Poodles are both intelligent dogs, and so a Westipu puppy is likely to be clever too. If they take after the terrier parent more in temperament they will love to chase and be quite playful. Both Poodles and Westies are fairly independent and tend to bond with their families but not be too pushy with strangers, and a Westipu is likely to follow suit. However, if the terrier in them gets the upper hand their bold nature can have the potential to get them into a spot of bother. Westipu Temperament Westipu's temperaments will vary as they are a mixed breed and could inherit from either side. Your puppy will need thorough socialization to help them to become comfortable around a range of different people and animals. Both terriers and poodles are bred with hunting in mind, and terriers especially can have a very high prey drive. They might not be the best companion for a cat unless they have grown up with one, and have been known to harass small pets such as rabbits and guinea pigs. You can help your Westipu to potentially avoid the worst of these traits through socialization but it isn't a guarantee. Exercise and Training Requirements Westipus are bred from two enthusiastic breeds, so they are likely to be active require at least two walks and some training sessions every day. Positive reinforcement training will help to focus their energy in a rewarding fashion, and to channel their enthusiasm into productive activities. Grooming and General Care if not groomed regularly, the Westipu can end up looking messy. It's important to get rid of the dead hair often to keep the coat looking fresh. While they don't shed all that much, thanks to its poodle parent, they aren't hypoallergenic. So are best avoided by allergy sufferers. Being a poodle Westie mix they could inherit the coat of either parent, so you need to be prepared to potentially deal with poodle levels of grooming or a regular visit to the dog groomer. Westipu Health Issues and Special Needs All dogs, whether they're purebred or a designer dog, can experience health conditions. When it comes to the Westipu, they can experience health conditions passed down from their parents. 
The Poodle and the Westie have their own set of health issues. Poodles commonly experience a condition known as hypoadrenocorticism. Symptoms include lethargy, depression, not eating, and a weak pulse, among others. Another condition known to affect poodles is gastric dilation volvulus. This is also known as stomach bloat and symptoms include abdominal pain, depression, bad behavior, and vomiting. As for West Highland White Terriers, they often experience atopic dermatitis. Last but not least, you'll want to make sure the puppy you bring home has already been checked by a certified vet and is up to date with their worming, flea treatment and first vaccinations. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.